Now, double click to select the hair you want to animate and press Ctrl plus X to cut it from its place. Before pasting it, select the stroke color tool and click on the border of the cut part to get an outline there. Just like we did during the dissection process, extend the size of the cut part so that no leaks can be seen when we animate the hair. After that, create a new layer for the hair to be animated and press Ctrl plus Shift plus V to paste it in its original place. Now, before you proceed, delete the line that divides the hair. In this tutorial, you are working with Motion Twin, so convert the tuft of hair into a symbol. Select the object and press F8 to bring up the Convert to Symbol dialog box. With the graphic option on and the registration point in the center, click OK. You are all set to animate the hair. First up, change the pivot point of the symbol to define the center of rotation. The last keyframe should be the same as the first. So, go to the 25th frame and press F6. Right click between the two keyframes and select Create Motion Twin. As we did for all parts of the character's body, create the in-between keyframes for the 7th and 13th frames. Select them one by one and press F6. Let's go to work on the 7th frame to begin with. Select the tuft of hair on the 7th frame. Remember that on the 7th frame, the character straightens up. If you have observed, when we straighten up, our hair settles down and when we bend, it rises upwards. Let's create that effect here too. Choose the free transform tool and skew the tuft of hair a bit downward. Drag the timeline seeker to see if the animation is playing ok. Now, copy the 7th keyframe to the 19th. You can hold down the alt key and drag the keyframe to the 19th frame. Come back to the main character and play the animation by pressing the enter key. Let's find out the reason why the hair animation is not showing. Enter the hair symbol. Copy the first frame to the 13th and 25th frames. Copy the 7th frame to the 19th frame. Drag the timeline seeker to see the animation playing. Let's go to the boy symbol to see if now the animation is visible there. Drag the timeline seeker to view the animation. And now the final test. Exit the boy symbol and come out on the stage. Drag the timeline seeker here to check if the hair is getting animated here or not. There it is. Now, let's exit all the symbols to come to the main stage. Go to the 100th frame and click F5 to add frames. Remember that the animation inside the symbols is 25 frames long. So, when you play it over 100 frames, you will see the walk cycle repeated 4 times over. Go to the first frame and play the entire animation by pressing the enter key on your keyboard. If you feel you want more animation for the hair, you can enter the hair symbol to edit it. Let's view the animation without the guides. Come to the main stage again and right click on the stage. Select the Guides tab. Switch off the Show Guides option by clicking on it. Zoom in to the character so it fills the stage. And again press the Enter key to preview the animation. Play the animation as many times as possible. Remember that a lot of work still remains to be done. If you watch very closely, you'll note that there are still parts where some cuts are visible in various parts of the body. Now, in cases where Motion Twin doesn't fill up the gaps and the leaks, the animator should resort to the frame-by-frame -frame animation.
and sixth use the free transform tool to skew rotate move and scale the parts while you work this way the most important points to be remembered are first strictly follow the character's original design in our case keep referring to the side angle view of the character second keep the volume of the character and its parts unchanged and third keep the body proportions intact and consistent with each other observe closely how each symbol is magnified on the screen and then edited one by one after every change you make in the animation it is extremely important to preview the animation on the main stage instead of playing the animation we recommend you drag the timeline seeker slowly frame by frame to view and review your progress here's the best way to go about this process especially when you are a beginner always concentrate on editing single body parts in one go at this stage if you switch from making changes in one body part to editing the next and then back again you will get confused this can be stressful you can easily avoid this by taking one body part and then editing it from the first frame to the last for this you can make a list of body parts and tick them off one by one as you finish editing them this will make it more organized and less stressful as you get experienced in animating the character you can find out your own techniques to simplify this process when a character is animated in flash its walk cycle is designed only once it is then used as it is for all times to come that's why there is no place for errors here it has to be perfect animating walk cycles is a very specialized skill that requires great observation skills in the beginning you'll find it a bit difficult but as you work more and more on character dissection character rigging and character animation it will get easier and easier we recommend you practice these procedures tirelessly until you get it right you can ask your course instructor or animation team leader to guide you in this process and learn some hands on tips and tricks it's worthwhile to remember that this is a basic tutorial on character walk cycle animation in your career as a flash animator you'll work on characters that are not symmetrical or characters with different walking styles you should try and acquire the skills to handle such characters by practicing the techniques you have learned in this tutorial try to work on really difficult characters ask for help from your instructors colleagues and superiors okay you can see that the editing process is done the character's side walk cycle is complete we recommend you watch this tutorial and actually practice it on your own several times to get your basics right after your confidence rises you can go ahead and challenge other characters too we hope this tutorial helped you gain some insight into the principles and techniques used in animating a character's side walk cycle thank you so much for watching this original presentation by aroha media Keep animating stay animated thanks again